हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आर एफ डिजाइन बेसिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट फील्ड ऑफ ए सीट ऑफ चार्ज दैट मींस फील्ड ड्यू टू इनफाइनाइट सीट ऑफ चार्ज लेट अस कंसीडर अ इनफाइनाइट सीट ऑफ चार्ज इज केप्ड इन वाई जेड प्लेन सो दिस वाई एंड जेड सो ऑन वाई जेड प्लेन देर इज ए इनफाइनाइट सीट ऑफ चार्ज हैविंग सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी रो एस दैट मीन्स द सर्फेस चार्ज डेंसिटी इज डिफाइंड एज चार्ज पर यूनिट एरिया एंड द यूनिट विल बी कूलम पर मीटर स्क्वायर सो द रो एस इज सर्फेस चार्ज डेंसिटी ऑफ द इनफाइनाइट सीट विच इज ऑन वाई जेड प्लेन and we have to find electric field intensity at any point p which is x distance from the charge so x distance from the charge means this will be in x direction so a general point on x axis can be written as x comma 0 comma 0 now let us consider a line charge which is having very small width of dy dash and it is y dash from the z axis in the direction of z axis which is parallel to the z axis so that if i take small strip and take the integration from negative y to positive y that means neg minus infinity to plus infinity i can find out the effect of whole infinite seat of charge so the width of this line charge is dy dash which is considered to be very very small so using this dy dash and rho s we can find the line charge density of this given line charge and that line charge density will be rho s multiplied by dy dash because rho s is charge per unit area if you multiply length here we will get the charge per unit length rho l now to write electric field at this point point p what we need we need the unit vector from this line charge to this point and let's consider that unit vector as ar and the magnitude is going to be since this value is x and this value is y dash so this will be under root x square plus y dash square so we can write de electric field due to this small strip equal to rho s dy dash which is rho l divided by 2 pi epsilon not r ar which is the unit vector ar now this will have two component if i write d d will be in this direction and it will have a component in x direction as well as in y direction the y direction component which is in this way when the strip is in the right side in the positive x positive y axis if this strip will be in negative y axis there will be opposite direction electric field which will have the same value that is why the y direction electric field will be cancelled out and we will have only x direction electric field and if i assume this angle as theta so this will be dex and dex will be de cos theta because this angle is theta so this will be de cos theta so let us write this dex equal to de cos theta so de and de is rho s dy dash by 2 pi epsilon not r and 
here AR is the unit vector in the direction of D. Now if I take this X component, this will have the direction in X. So rho S by D Y rho S D Y S by 2 pi epsilon naught R cos theta. Which is equal to rho S by 2 pi epsilon naught cos theta is x by under root x square plus y square and r is under root x square plus y square dy dash. So we can write dex equal to rho s by 2 pi epsilon naught x dy dash divided by x square plus y square. Now to calculate the total electric field, let's integrate this from minus infinity to plus infinity and we'll get rho s by 2 pi epsilon naught x dy dash divided by x square plus y dash square here all y dash which is equal to ten inverse y by x so y dash by x where this y dash will vary from minus infinity to plus infinity and if we take that value what we will get rho s by 2 pi epsilon naught then inverse infinity will be pi by 2 and minus infinity will be minus pi by 2 so minus minus plus pi by 2 which is equal to rho s by 2 epsilon naught. So this is our Ex, which will be the total field. So we can write electric field that is total electric field equal to rho s by 2 epsilon naught Ax. That means if we are finding the electric field intensity in positive x direction, it will be equal to rho s by 2 epsilon naught Ax. And this electric field intensity does not depend upon the x-axis. That means it is going to be constant throughout the one side of the sheet. So if it is in positive x direction, value will be rho s by 2 epsilon naught Ax. Similarly, if we find a negative Ax direction, means other side of sheet, back side of the sheet, the electric field intensity will become this is in the back side of the seat it will become minus rho s by 2 epsilon naught ax just a negative sign which will say that if a positive surface charge density is there then there will be a, an electric field intensity which is in the negative x direction So, we can generalize this electric field as rho s by 2 epsilon naught a n where this a n is the normal vector from the sheet of charge to the point where we are finding the electric field intensity. So we can use this formula for finding electric field intensity due to infinite surface charge density. So let us find out field due to continuous volume charge density. For this first of all let us define the volume charge density which is defined as the small amount of charge delta Q in a small 
volume delta V then the volume charge density will be delta Q equal to rho V delta V where rho V is volume charge density so we can write rho V is limit delta V tends to 0 delta Q upon delta V or in integration form the same thing can be converted into the volume integration of rho V dV so here is Q so we can write delta Q equal to rho V del V and for volume charge density we can integrate this to find out the total charge and once we find the total charge we can use this for finding the electric field intensity and the formula will be again electric field intensity formula as we know is Q by 4 pi epsilon naught R AR so in this case in place of Q we can write this formula to find out the volume charge density for uniform charge. Thank you.